Hello. Yeah, so I'm really not talking because no one's here. I really didn't have much to say. Just thought I'd jump on. Hey, really didn't have a lot to say. Just thought I'd come on, see if anyone would was interested in having a chat. So, um, we did go out tonight for two hours and about 45 minutes, and it was terrible. Like, seriously terrible. Um, made $47. And the majority of that was on an unscheduled block. We did have a schedule for an hour and a half on Grubhub. And yeah, it was not very good. So, I don't know. Probably from now on, we will not really schedule but maybe once a week to keep our statistics up. And other than that, no, because it's not worth it. I mean, I make more money doing, you know, unscheduled stuff than I do scheduling a block of time or anything. So, so if you're here, say hi. I would love to hear from you. Like I said, I don't really have a whole lot to say. Can't stay on too terribly long because we still have to go to work tomorrow to our W-2. Really exciting. And if you're here, please give us a thumbs up. Would love some feedback. So what's going on in your world? Yeah, then my phone picture is way better than this picture. That's for sure. Thank you, Rosebud. Hope you're having a good evening. I appreciate you stopping in. We are... Still looking for 800 subs by Sunday, <laughs> which is kind of comical. <laughs> hey, Sunny Drives, how are you, Faith? So, yeah, the lovely, um, this is the first time I've done a live on the computer, so I'm Probably definitely not gonna do too many on the computer. It's a lot better uh, on the phone in the car. I prefer those that way. So I'm okay. It was a struggle today. Ended up my three hour shift ended up being two hours and 45 minutes. Because it was terrible. So, of course, it picked up when I get home. But, I mean, I can't stay out late tonight because I have to go to my W-2 tomorrow. So, um, you know, it is what it is. We just struggle and, I don't know, this week we have not made very much money. So, we better hope that the weekend is good. We've got 
Friday night and Saturday because I'm probably not going Saturday, Sunday. Um, is there a minimum amount of hours you need? No, on Grubhub to keep your like statistic at a hundred percent schedule commitment. You can even schedule for just like 30 minutes. So I'm probably going to do once a week for like maybe an hour in that way. Um, I'll at least keep that statistic at a hundred. Um, I do know that I have tested it enough times that if you're not in the top premier tier or whatever they call it, um, with Grubhub that, um, you don't get the better offers. So, I mean, I had one night this week that. And I don't remember, I think it was, it must probably, I think it was last night. So that video will go out tomorrow. But I didn't, I made 23 $24 and change. And during the scheduled time that I had, and as soon as my time was over, I got an offer of within a minute. That was $21. That was almost as much as I made in, an hour and a half. I mean, it was insane. So, but I mean, this week was bad and this week is the week that I'll, you know, need to make good money. So, um, I, you know, I managed to put money over in savings every week. So <laughs> savings will be going down this week because we've got to, pay these ridiculous bills that I mean I'm probably gonna have to try to move um, payment dates around on some credit cards because it is just too hard to pay you know two grand out in a week between accounts you know insurance and credit cards and whatnot so it just makes it hard and didn't help me any this week. This week has not helped. And then I'm, you know, I'll take Mother's Day off to go spend time with my kiddos and go see my mom. So I won't deliver Sunday. So, yeah, sometimes it is very tough to make ends meet. I mean, we manage. I put money aside so that, you know, when I have a surplus, I put it in savings so that when times like this happen I have it over there but dang it's killer sometimes but we also went on vacation so we're trying I'm trying to play catch up from then so I mean it's just now been a month has it been a month since we came back no so yeah it's definitely a struggle and I just I mean it's all you can do you know Go out there, work, you know, make the money, pay what you can. But yeah, some days it's really, really tough. But we manage. Absolutely. One day at a time. Some days it's one minute at a time. And then my W-2, we've just been really slow. So then that makes it hard because I sit there, you know, thinking about how much money I could be making or I could be out at least out delivering and instead of sitting there waiting for something to, to come up. And so, yeah, that makes it hard too. It makes it difficult some days. Ugh. So... I see there's like five people, so we should have five thumbs up. I would appreciate it. But I think tomorrow I'm going to try to do another ride along live. So I'll probably start at six or so. My child is Snapchatting me because she's at work. And so I just send her random pictures, which is what she sends me. 
So, but how is everyone doing tonight? Did y'all make any money today or go out? Oh, dang. When are you supposed to have your car back? <laughs> yeah, my daughter snaps me all the time. So, you know, makes me feel good that she's snapping with me because she's 22 years old. And believe me, she probably has better things to do than snap with her mother. <laughs> so, but that's fine. I don't mind at all. I snap with my kiddo anytime. I mean, I still have, I think I posted a couple things for sale on, you know, Facebook Marketplace and that kind of stuff. So maybe, maybe I can, I mean, I have a couple, one person interested in something. I just don't want to go as low as he wants me to go. So we're going to. See if he can come up with a little bit more money. Oh, no. That's terrible that you lost the streak. Thank you, babe. You're funny. No, see, our streak. See, she yelled at me one time. <laughs> oh, my gosh. She yelled at me because I didn't respond to her snap, like, right away. And she was like, are you going to respond? You're going to make us lose the streak. Our streak is 202 right now. So, it's kind of funny. Yeah, that's crazy. Hey, I know. I mean, she like I said, she was complaining to me about, you know, missing a snap. So, heaven forbid, I hurried up and sent her just some random picture, you know, of the road or, you know, the car. And then today, oh my gosh, y'all, these people are driving like maniacs. So we have a street that you have two lanes and a turn lane and the right hand lane is blocked because of construction or whatever it is they're working on the road. And I ran into that yesterday. So today, I know not to get in that lane. You get in the left-hand lane. And then there's still a turn lane to turn left. And I'm over by the restaurants. People are crazy. This dude cut me off. I missed him by like an inch. And so, I mean, I hit the brakes. And so I'm hitting the brakes. And the automatic brake is hitting the brakes. So the tires are like skidding and I'm like laying on the horn and oh man, this guy in the lane to the right of me, he rolls his window down and gives me the thumbs up and then we get to the stop top light and that car in front of me had gone. So I rolled the window down and uh, the guy next to me was like, are you okay? I'm like, yeah, I'm good. Hey, Chris. So... I was hoping by Friday, not that they told me that day. I was just hoping that you never shot me with it. Oh, man. Well, hopefully, you'll get your car back soon. Because I know that's a pain in the butt. Almost after today, I almost had no car. So, yeah, that would have been crazy. So, oh, the day today was not good, Chris. It was not good. In like two hours and 45 minutes, we made a whopping $47. So, hey, Sheila. What's the dinner report? Like, what do we have for dinner? Or, yeah, it was very close. Um, and, in fact, I ordered the dash cam today. I put it off and so I just ordered I just went ahead in fact as soon as I got done I went to the um oh dang yeah that's bad we had chicken and rice for dinner so 
Yeah, well, I'm getting it. It's supposed to be here. Can't remember if it gets here. I think it might get here Sunday. So it says. So we'll see. Hopefully, we will have that installed. And then we will hopefully add those little tidbits to our videos like we need to add to our videos. They're already long enough. Oh, that would be good, Chris. That sounds really good. Definitely. So, so yeah, today was very, I mean, money-wise, it wasn't great. But, I mean, you know, this week we've made, so far in three days, we've made probably, um... What, maybe a hundred and fifty-ish dollars? <laughs> Let's see. I'll tell you because I order off of, of um, Amazon. Let me look and see if I can find it real quick. Because it was one that one of the other, one of my subscribers and one of my members actually, um, suggested let me see come on i want to see the thing not just oh good gravy see if i can find it it is i guess the brand name is g m a i pop and it's a front and a rear 4K, 1080p, Wi-Fi, dual dash camera for cars. So, yeah, we'll see. Um, it does have like a 24-7 parking mode if you want to get the extra setup for it. Um, and then it has, it does come with an SD card, so that's good. And it says 170 degree wide angle. So, but how many? Don't forget to hit the like button, please. But yeah, I think we'll probably do a live tomorrow from the car. Because I don't think that we are, we're going to be short on our, we're only at 763 subscribers. So, yeah, we'll see. I'm hoping. It wasn't that much. It's like 70 bucks. So, we'll see how it does. Yeah, I'll listen, I'll do, I'll listen to um, Chuck's video after a while, or probably tomorrow when I'm out dashing. That's usually what I do. If I don't, if I'm not doing lives and all the fun stuff, then I'll be listening to other, um, you know, other dasher videos and kind of try to loop them around. And then sometimes it kicks off and it kicks me into like 48 hours or some crazy interrogation, but that's my kind of thing. That's funny. I do that all the time because I do that to you, Sonny, which I know that's not your name, but I do that all the time. Yeah, if you want, I'll try to put it in um, the next video that I post. Um, the internet, so my little hotspots been doing pretty good there's a couple places that it'll kind of try to drop out when i'm doing the lives but um you know it's kind of it's kind of crazy but it's working so i guess tonight i need to make sure that everything's plugged in so it'll be um charged and ready to go tomorrow night so, 
and then hopefully hopefully we can get some more subscribers i mean all i do is craziness y'all the other day i did this crazy video what day i was like two days ago oh my gosh it ended up it was an hour and something minutes and i had no idea it was that long because the program i use now is not the same one i was using before and this one i can't tell how long the video is I mean, I try to like smush all, you know, take out pieces when you wait too long at the restaurant and all of that stuff. But dad gum, sometimes they're just long. Hey, Jennifer, how are you? So, yeah, it's. It's crazy sometimes. We just, I don't, because used to, I was using Canva, and for some reason, I cannot load anything up into that. It's funny, because I've noticed that some of the ones that I have that are really long, um, like the hour one, it was an hour and 20 minutes. And I had 137 views. And then I have one that's 19 minutes and it has 99 views. So, you know, I just never know. Oh, I might have to check that one out. I mean, I paid for this other one, but I don't like it because, I mean, it's good for the videos. It's just that if you want to add music or stuff, you have to purchase another program and I am not doing that so I if I put any music in it it's just the music that um you know is the free music you can use so yeah it's just insane some days what do I use I don't even know the name of it because let me see if I can figure it out. It's M-O-V-A. Or hang on. It is. Where'd it go? I can't even see it. That's insane. Yeah. I don't know what the name of it is. I can't see it because I'm blind. I'm too blind to see so it's M O V A V I move Vavi or I don't know I don't know how to say that oh see that wouldn't be too bad because that's how canva was and i don't know what happened to canva all of a sudden i can't you know can't load anything my even because what i would have to do is take the videos upload them into the gopro you know program on the computer and then um compress them and then i would load them to canva and then you know, some of them, if they weren't too long, then Canva would be fine if they were more than, you know, eight or nine minutes long, which most of them aren't that long unless you were stuck at a place, you know, delivering and I have to go and cut out a bunch of parts of it when you're just sitting waiting at the restaurant forever. And then I could put them all together. And then all of a sudden it quit doing it. So I looked it up and it was like, maybe you have too much stuff in there. So I went and deleted a bunch of stuff, and I don't know, a few weeks ago I tried it and it still wouldn't work, so I don't know what's up. Up with that, it's annoying. So I don't know what to do. But yeah, I may try that. I may have to, here, let me make a note on my phone so that I know. That way I'm, 
it'll be on my phone because I'll that way I can remember hopefully <laughs> oh because oh my gosh my brain there's just so much going on so and that was the program telling me that it finished loading my video so that's the one yeah that be tomorrow's video but it's kind of kind of crazy some days and you know i prefer it whenever i get to go and deliver all weekend and not have to go to my job on friday but we get off early so we get off an hour earlier on fridays when we work so um but usually we end up he's good um he's at work um i saw he, he jumped in a little while ago and said hi and i mean he wasn't feeling too great when he left here. I mean, I don't know if he's got like sinus or what. There's, you know, the wind's been blowing and there's all kinds of freaking pollen and crap in the air. So he's having a hard time with that. So. But, and I think, I don't know, last I heard he was going to work the weekend. So, or work part of the weekend. I don't know if that's still the case, but. That's what he was saying yesterday. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, we're supposed to be getting rain, though. I think. Um, I don't know that we'll get rain tomorrow. But it's Saturday and Sunday. So... 35% chance on Saturday and 45 on Sunday. That's like the national one or whatever. And then if I look at the, the local one, it's always wrong. I mean, they're always wrong. I mean, but what job can you go get paid lots of money in wrong? Because, I mean, it's rain... Saturday, Sunday, and then possible rain Tuesday, Wednesday. So definitely different than what the national one gives us, but that's okay. Oh, wow. Yeah, see, we're only supposed to be, see, it's supposed to be cold here. <laughs> I don't know. Um, let's see. The highest it's supposed to be is like Tuesday next week. Yeah, the pollen is terrible right now. I mean, I don't know where this is all blowing from, but... No, we have not yet. Um, thank you, Chris. Um, Sheila... So, we don't have the tier system here, but when we went to Lubbock, what, a couple months ago, they do have the tier system there. So, yeah. But, I have been doing a little bit of DoorDash here and there. Um, and so, I mean, I still have a contract violation, but we are up to 77% um acceptance rate so we'll see hopefully that um i don't know when if it when it's supposed to come i haven't heard anything or seen anything so didn't you did you just get it today sheila I know I watched Chuck's video the other day about the tier system and that he had just gotten it. So I don't know. See, one of my coworkers just started doing DoorDash. And so he's still in the 
like his two weeks where he gets to dash anytime. Wednesday. Oh, yeah, that's that's bad. I'm glad you have the catering apps because we don't. I got kicked off of Delivered because I hadn't done any. And then I got him to reinstate me and I still couldn't get into my account. So, I mean, I don't know what to do if people start sending nothing to you. Um, you know, there for a while before I started doing the apps, I was working part time at Home Depot and man, that was tough. I'm not used to being on my feet because I sit a lot at my job. So, yeah. Oh, well, you know, it, you know, eventually we'll get some more things, but you know, I don't know what's going to happen. I mean, if it gets to it, I'll just, when it starts, you know, in the summer, on the weekends, if I start seeing, because I know last year in the summer, these, some of these small towns had like, you know, four and five dollar um, promos on DoorDash. So, and I mean, you know, if it gets to the point, I might just have to go to these little towns if, you know, if I can't get on here and anything and everything. Because, I mean, Uber's gotten really bad. I barely get any offers on there anymore. And, I mean, Grubhub's my, you know, bread and butter, but not all, not lately. It's been kind of slow, too, even though I get on and I say it's busy. And you'll see all the little orange spots everywhere and nothing. So, I don't know what's going on. I don't know if there's too many people or what's going on, but we'll get there. As long as I were making some extra money, I mean, I really don't want to go to my freaking W-2 at some god-awful hour if I don't have to. That's why I don't usually work any of the overtime that they offer, because I don't want to go that early. Because that's, uh, I'm not a morning person, and believe me, that's way too early. Because then I wouldn't be able to do any dashing, um... The day I, the night before I went early or the next day, because I'm usually wiped out. I can't, you know, it's just too much. My coworkers all that work all the overtime, I just tell them I'm too old. I'm too old to get up that early. <laughs> and actually, it's not early, it's like late. So, yeah, I mean, I would, if I didn't have to have a W-2 and be freaking early, early. Um, you know, it would be a different story. But, I mean, 20 years at this place, and I just got about six, hopefully I can get out in six years. Then I'll be okay. But. Yeah, me too. I'm one of those, and I'm bad, because if I stay up past a certain time, then I cannot go to sleep. It is very hard for me to go to sleep. So, and then I've had sleeping issues all this week, and I don't know what I'm going to do. I had to try to find a new doctor, and that's not, that's not working out too well for me either, because a friend of mine gave me the name of the doctor that they, her and her husband go to, and... One of my insurances he doesn't take, so or he's not taking new patients. So I'm like, well, because the one I go to doesn't take it either. So I'm just aggravated at these dadgum doctors for all their non help. But, you know, because needless to say, my I have sleep apnea and my machine isn't working right. So I didn't even use it last night at all, which is not probably the best thing. But I don't know if I slept better or not because I still kept waking up all night long. And I don't, I don't like that. It's terrible when you wake up 
hundred times a night, it seems like. Definitely not fun, that's for sure. Oh, man. I'm just, oh, I'm going to go insane. Not really. Shouldn't say that. Hey, Mary B., how are you? Thank you. How are you feeling? No, I have not. I don't believe so. Where have I? I don't even know. Let me look where that is because I don't even know. Obviously, I haven't been there. If Yeah, no, I'm uh, pretty sure I have not been there. I've been to El Paso, but... What did you do to your arm, um, Mary? I don't remember. So... Yeah, sometimes we get that way, Mary. You just have to suck it up and go to the doctor, huh? Oh. Yeah, I've spent many Christmases in El Paso in when my boys were young, so a very long time ago. Oh, dang. I'm sorry. That's terrible. Oh, yeah. I have that, too, Chris. Anxiety. Mm -hmm, that's no fun, either. It's gotten better over time, but... But definitely, I feel that pain. So true, Mary. It's a great community to be involved with. I'm really glad that I started delivering and decided to start a YouTube channel and just enjoy talking with everyone and all of that because otherwise... I probably wouldn't talk to many people other than my husband and my children and my co-workers because that's about all I talk to. Um, yeah, we're getting there. Um, not fast enough, I was hoping. We were hoping by Mother's Day, but I don't think that's going to happen. Absolutely, Mary. We are definitely all in the same boat. So it's nice to it's nice to be able to talk to people and you know vent to people. Um, so I'll try. That's what I do. Vertical. This is my like my phone up and down, right? Because that's what I've been doing when I do them in the car. So. Well, we're glad you're here, Sonny. So, yeah, hopefully I'll have to figure out the light situation. Because when it starts getting dark and I have to have the light for people to see, that light just really bothers my eyeballs.
Yeah, you never know. Chuck might be headed for bed already. Because it's 11 o'clock his time. So he may not be lurking around. I haven't ever watched any in other countries. I was while well, we... We're all watching YouTube at my other at my W2 job and that got kind of cut off, so which is fine, I understand. They're not um paying us to watch YouTube, so Well, we're very glad that you're here. We I enjoy all of y'all actually so we enjoy you all being here and i just thank everybody for being here and supporting me and everyone else so nice Yeah, eventually, eventually we'll be maybe making some money, and I got to figure out what to do with my um, member section, because I really haven't done too much. I haven't, really, I haven't done a video. I haven't, you can tell I'm like sliding down in the bed. So, um, I just haven't. Um, done any of that. So, I mean, I have three members and um, working, I'm hoping to work with an, one of my subscribers to work on my design because we need, it needs to change. It needs to be in different colors because the yellow and red is okay, but that's not not really what I want. I want something a little different. So. Yeah, we don't even. You know, I have not had cable in I can't tell you how long. So we went from cable to nothing to watch a netflix and amazon prime and that's about all we got so i mean hubby always um i think during football season sometimes he does the nfl stuff or he'll watch ESPN or something to watch the games that he wants to watch that he can't see. So. Definitely so. Yeah, we have that too on my the TV we have in the like the guest room that is turned into a spillover craft room. And um, then we have it in my big craft room. So, I mean, there's a lot of stuff I've watched on Roku that I like. So, and then we have all our other TVs are like LG TVs. So you have the other channels in so a lot of times I just watch old comedies and things. Yep. The subscriptions when it comes to sports stuff is insane. That is just crazy to me that there's that many out there. And, you know, you can only get this game on this program and this game on that program. I mean, good gravy. It's ridiculous. I do a lot of YouTube, but I watch a lot of Amazon Prime. 
but I watch weird stuff, okay? Like The Killer Next Door, um, all that kind of stuff. I like interrogations, um, 48 hours, um, all those kinds of things. So my husband thinks I'm crazy when I, he knows I watch that stuff. He goes, tells me, don't get any ideas. So it's interesting. Of course, then I'm at home at night by myself. So that's real um, crazy. But I mean, I don't, and I don't watch TV as much as I used to watch TV. That's for sure. Oh, nice. Yeah, I watch a lot of forensic files, too. And then there's some FBI files sh that I've watched, too. I like I, I like the home improvement stuff, but my problem is, is then I want to go change everything. So, I mean, I've lived in this house for like 30 years. And, I mean, it hasn't changed too much in 30 years other than... When we first, when I first moved here, it had tons of, you know, heavy drapes, lots of wallpaper. There is no wallpaper anywhere in this house now. So, lots of painted walls and tile floors, no carpet. We have one room with carpet, and that's it. So, but... Well, guys, I'm going to say goodnight. Um, I got to get ready so I can go to bed and get up early in the morning to go to my wonderful W-2 job. But we'll be live sometime. Hey, Tiffany. Well, thank you. I appreciate all of y'all for being here. Dang. Yeah, I've been in this house for a long time. Lots of things have changed over the years. So, thank y'all. I appreciate each and every one of you. We'll see you tomorrow. Um, probably do a live, probably starting around 6 or 7, probably tomorrow evening. So, y'all have a good night, and we will see you tomorrow. Good night, Chris. Good night, Tiffany. Thanks for stopping by.